Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside 50. I'm Troy Luff. And I'm Stephen Lord. Well, it's been a big week in the AFL for injuries and for bad behaviour this week, Luffy. Let's start with everyone's favourite bad boy, Ben Cousins. Back training with Waffle Club Perth. On his way back to the AFL? Look, I think it's fantastic that he's cleaned himself up after all the drug issues. And look, I'd love to see him playing AFL again. And I'll tell you what, he's a very, very popular man down at Perth. One of my mates actually tackled him at training and said he's never going to wash his arms again. He was that excited. <laughs> I think there'll be a few clubs just as excited to get him on their list next year. Well, the game to watch this week has to be Adelaide versus Richmond. With one of their key players out, Adelaide are maybe a little bit vulnerable. Yeah, the Crows are going to miss Jason Paul Pleasure for up to a month after scans on Monday revealed he had brain bruising. He had a really nasty collision with Collingwood Stephen Brown on the weekend, knocked him completely unconscious. I still think it's going to be hard for the Tigers to beat Adelaide at home. Too strong, too consistent for me. Look, it's a massive game for both clubs, but I tell you what, Andrew McLeod, 300th game this week, only the second Indigenous player ever to do so, the 56th AFL player ever to do so. I think that is going to inspire them to get home. Another massive game this week is Collingwood versus St Kilda. The Pies are going to be missing a few key players this week, but not because of injury, Steve-O. Now, in sensational circumstances, both Heath Shaw and Alan Didak have been suspended by the Pies for their involvement in a car crash while under the influence. But not only that, they then lied to the club about it. Well, Heath Shaw was 0.14, crashed his ute into two parked cars. The boys were both fined, 10,000 for Shaw, 5,000 for Didac, but brother Reese Shaw, he also copped a two week ban as well as a fine for his involvement. And Eddie Maguire now has a bit of egg on his face after coming out in strong support of the boys. And uh, I think they'll be chasing him for the Kennedy shooting now. <laughs> Collingwood captain Scott Burns was not happy with the incident. It now casts a lot of doubt about the club's integrity and honesty. And how do you rate the Pies' chances this week against the Saints? Well, with all the action happening off the field for Collingwood this week, it will definitely affect them, so I'm going to go the Saints. Another legend AFL player has retired this week, Michael Wilson. He's finally succumbed to injury after 192 games for Port Adelaide. Yeah, fantastic player. Really burst onto the scene when he won the Rising Star in 97 and has had a lot of injuries to deal with, missing over 100 games. He's had two knee reconstructions, two shoulder reconstructions. I'll tell you what I love was when they won the flag in 2004, his shoulders were that badly damaged he could barely lift the Premiership Cup. Sad to see him go. That's it for this week. Join us next week for the latest news and tips from Inside 50. See ya.